Hey friends and welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we will be doing our weekly check-in and paycheck to paycheck for some. So if that's something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, let's hop right on in. Um, I don't really know how this week is going to go per usual. Um, that's just the cost of being self-employed. So we will just have to see. Um, I have my monthly breakdown here on the side. So I'm going to, this is actually from September, but I'm going to just keep it here. Uh, let me pick a pen. I'm going to try this one. This is a new pen I got from Cloth and Paper. I do want to give it a try. So this is week one of October. Let me check. It's actually October, September the... Wait a minute. No, this is October the 4th. So this is kind of week two, I guess. October the 4th through the 10th. Mm, it's a little light. <laughs> I do this all the time. I'm going to stick with it. Let me just stick with it. <laughs> and let me zoom you guys in. Okay, so first up, if you're new here, I list three streams of income. And the first is hair. The second one is Shopify. And then miscellaneous normally is Etsy at the moment. I'm eventually just start putting Etsy, but um, projected for hair. I'm going to just put 800. I've been doing some, like, looking over what I'm making, and it's looking like it's coming in. Sometimes it's 700, sometimes it's 600, but here lately we've been sticking with the 800. It's been kind of working out, and then Shopify... I don't even know with Shopify. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. I'm just, I keep putting 50, but we're not really coming in at that. And then I'm going to put 30. Oh, matter of fact, let me wipe this out because I did decide to like let the Etsy come in on a weekly basis. And so from last week, that check will come, which will hit tomorrow. It's like $34. So I'm, well, yeah, I'm going to put that at 50 because I already know that I have $34 coming to me um, from Etsy from that. And thank you to those who are purchasing the envelopes for me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you are interested in them, they are listed below. The link to my Etsy and my website are listed below. Also, the new debt inserts are on my website as well. So we have a total of $900. Okay, and so let's get to listing bills. Um, the 4th, which is today, I didn't know if I was going to get this up in time. We have Walmart, which I already paid, but I don't know if I was telling you, you all that, um, I think I gave them, I can't remember what I gave them. I put 50. No, I didn't. I gave them 28. I'm sorry. Um, I was telling you all that I think I'm like a week behind in paying my how things are coming but now i think i'm getting on track because i paid this like prepaid on friday so by the day being the fourth and it's a monday this will come out this week so it will be off of last week's money if that makes sense so we have walmart um now victoria's secrets all that stuff is coming out but i left the money in the bank for that so Last week, I didn't do any cash envelopes, and I basically created that week ahead kind of buffer for me by not doing cash envelopes, so that way I wouldn't be behind. So, I think I'm on track. The money is set there. So, like, today, that's paying for, like, the stuff that's coming out the first of the month. So, I hope I'm making sense. Um, what else? We have Canva this week. Something else. Oh, Credit One was due today. Credit One. And I paid them. I gave them, y'all, for some reason, I just paid the people. I can't remember. So I put 32. Um, we have Canva that comes out on the 7th. 
and Shopify. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Don't let Shopify try to get their money too early. And I got to really look up to see what Shopify is. Um, I don't have another device in front of me. But Canva would be $13.77. And I'm really thinking Shopify would be kind of low. I'm going to put it at uh, $60. But I will double check and follow through up with that one. And that's it that we have this week besides booth rent. And booth rent, I'll put that down on the 9th. This pen is in bed. And that's 200. Now, I will preface this and say that I do have some of last week's stuff coming out this week. But, like, the money that I made today should cover this week's stuff, if that makes sense, so far. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not going to too much worry about it. So, let's do a total. It's going to come to me. But I hope that's it. Oh, and I want to pay Victoria's Secrets off. Let me put that down. Y'all, I was so tempted today. I'm trying to tell you. I was so tempted today. I'm going to put this down. Um, to pay them off will be $42. I saw some slides. They sent me a $10 credit. I was like, yeah, yay, let me go and charge that up. And I, I had to gather myself. Like, girl, it's about to be winter, even though I still wear slides in the winter. But I was like, you don't need that. You don't need it. And for what? So we have a total of 375.77. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe it, but we will see. Okay, and I'm just putting total. I don't believe that's all I owe this week. I just don't. Something's not working. So if anything, we'll hit up debt and pay down some credit cards or put something extra. And we're gonna subtract that from 900. That leaves us with 524.23. Okay. And let's move that up here to that. And the first thing that, of course, remember we are trying to pay down some of this debt. And if you saw my previous video, I want to give extra to my Navy Federal Credit Union loan. And I want to give them, I've been trying to do like 50 a week. That would leave me with 450, I believe. It's not necessary. Um, and then I already put in Victoria's Secrets as a bill and not necessarily the debt. And then we want to give Barclays a hundred. We want to give them a hundred. It's over here. I don't know how I did this. That would be twenty four twenty three. If I gave them a hundred, and then the next one that I want to kind of add something to, um, I'm doing credit one. I want to give fifty to my Capital One. Okay, so let's see what our total for that would be. I'm not necessarily um, worried about envelopes at the moment. I want to pay down some of this debt, so that's less I got to pay, especially this Navy Federal Credit Union. So that will leave us 324.23. And now I need to kind of go back and add it. That's $200. So we want to give $200 to debt. It will leave us 324.23. Now, I've been thinking like all of this is not going into sinking funds. Like I said, I don't think that I am a zero-based budgeter, but I can zero-base 
my budget. I do know how to zero base it out. If anything, um, on the cash envelopes, miscellaneous, I'm gonna skip down to cash envelopes. I know that's, uh, I just spend about $85, $80 on just random stuff. Um, like I said, sometimes I'll go to the 7-Eleven, get some chips, drink. You do this a couple of times a week, you know, it adds up. Um, that's almost 10 something dollars a day. So I got $80 down for that. Um, and then like I just purchased some more nail stuff, nail supplies. I've really been buying nail supplies. So that's included in there. Um, so we're at 80. Like I said, if there is anything extra, I'm just going to throw it at that. But if we just take, um, three, 24, I'm just going to round that out to 324 even and subtract 80. This is what $244. I'm doing my best not to blow this, but I definitely want to give Christmas. Matter of fact, I owe Christmas $60 this week. So um, I did not take from this fund um, this week. I looked at it, I was like, no. And then taxes, like I've done my taxes for what I'll be getting from Etsy. And it was like $8 and some change, but I'm still adding in whatever little bit I got from made off of, um, what's the people? Shopify, so that's that. So I add taxes on here. Um, again, I think I've mentioned it, but I wanted to, I got some things, preparing some things for Black Friday for my Shopify business. And I'm not sure, I'm waiting to hear back what my total will be. So I wanna be kind of prepared for that. So I wanna put um, at least, I wanna put 50 in both moves, but I think I'm gonna do 25. And I do believe that I took away from both moves. I'm not sure. I took away from my five, one in five um, envelope, but I'm not even going to worry about that. And let's see. Y'all, I need a pedicure so bad. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and put 40 in self-care. Going to get that out the way. So we have $40 left. Um, like I said, I've been doing nail supplies. I think I'm good on um, household things. I did do boss moves. Vacation. Vacation is going to take the last of this money because we have kind of come up with the plan of where we're going. It sounds like it's Cancun. I don't know how I'm feeling about the date, but we're going to make it work. So calculating what I have in six sinking funds, excuse me, we have 60, that's 40, it's 135 dollars. So 135 is the total there. And we're going to subtract that from 324. And that leaves us with 189 here. Let me double check that. Three. Yep, that leaves us with 189. Something's not right. Oh, wait a minute. Still not adding up right. No. Yeah, something's not right. Let me do a little math, y'all, right quick. And give me a second. Let me do some math. Okay, so I am minus $69 that I have left to spend. I'm not even, I don't even think I want to trip on it. Um, because, let's put the extra, nope, I'm not even going to trip on it. I'm just going to leave it there because this very well may not be this amount. So, um, today, I'm um, this week, excuse me, I'm not going to be zero-based budgeting. So I'm going to let that $69, um, this is $120. Let me make sure I write that down. This is, oops. I hate having to use my whiteout, but it is what it is. 
So this came to 120 in the cash envelopes. Um, sinking funds came to 135 and my debt came to 200 And then my total bills due this week was 375 I still do not believe this. But that's good because, like I said, I was kind of needing an extra week. So like I said, if there's something extra, like my car note will be due immediately on Monday. So whatever is left that I don't spend will probably go towards next week's bills and help me build that buffer. And thinking of the buffer, let me put um, week ahead. That's where the rest of this money will go, the $69. I'm just going to put 60 So 195 There we go. So that's what we'll do with that. And I won't zero base it out this week. This is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to be more realistic with my budget and be honest with myself. Let me zoom out. So yeah, I just don't want to, what's the word I'm looking at? I don't want to set my own stuff up. And I think what I've been doing is just being pretentious and setting myself up, trying to do, I can't do my budget like everybody does their budget. I just can't. Um, and I was really trying to um, do that and I just can't. So um, what I'm going to do is do what works for me. And again, I'm self-employed and I've seen some self-employed people, but they make way more money than me. So I have to stick what, with what works for me and um right now if i have a little extra i just can't zero base it out because again i just don't know this is just a guesstimate of what i'll make but as you can see even with this guesstimate and if this is truly the only bills that i have 375 i should be able to um even if i don't if i make half of that I still would have money left over. Even if I only made $450 this week, which things like that could happen, um, I still would be good. I would have um, my booth rent. I would be able to pay these small credit card bills here. So I'm definitely, now that I'm looking at this and I'm realizing that these two, they're normally, I pay them around the first of the month, but I decided to wait. So that way it wouldn't seem so overwhelming for me. But, um, to me now I need to get these down because that is a part of that first of the month bills but it's still these two is not as bad as having all of that stuff come out at one time on the first of the month so um, I'm definitely going to put extra on my um, Navy Federal Credit Union I'm really thinking I'm gonna try to give them a hundred this week because I want this gone because this is a really big chunk of my budget because it's ninety six dollars a month and then it is due like the same time as my um car loan so if i don't have to pay those two things together that would just be perfect and definitely i'm gonna chop at um barclays so that's it that's all that i have this week you guys well not this week but for today this is my paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in as usual if you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more videos like this from me do me a favor hit that subscribe button also give me a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section let me know that you're new let me know that you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in my next video bye